Let's hope we have better luck than we had last time with Clank Catacombs. Let's just pull up the Board Game Geek page here just in case I haven't been doing it because I feel like I have missed it every time so far, and I've probably done it zero to one times at best. That's what we're looking at here. This is Clank Catacombs. This is the solo campaign that is found in the Direwolf Digital app, which I finally took the, like, and I knew this must have had to have been where I'd seen it. I took a second to read what it says on the front screen there. A six-game single-player campaign. I knew I had seen it somewhere, but I couldn't recall where. It says it right there on the front of the app. Um, yeah, this is what the app looks like, by the way. This is, uh, it, it has, you know, all kinds of cool things. I'm not logged in on what you're seeing. Um, on my, I use this on my phone, um, and I am logged in on there. This was just to, to run this thing here on the computer. Um, I do have Raiders of the North Sea on Steam, and boy, do I wish they had the expansions. I have been whining about that since the very beginning. You can find that on Twitter, I believe, way back in the day, and they never committed either way. They kind of said, we'll see, which is, you know... If it blew up and sold a billion copies, they would, which of course it didn't do. I argue because they didn't have the expansions. The expansions are what make that game great to me. Raiders of the North without the expansions is eh, it's fine. The expansions make it amazing. But anyway, if you click on Clank Catacombs Companion app, it says right here, meet ghosts, rescue prisoners, and get rich and a six game single player campaign. So this would be the screen where we need to have a little thing that just says, click here to buy a DLC, buy another campaign. I'm all for it. I think this is a blast. Clank is a great game and playing it single player with a story is a lot of fun. And it and apparently you fail forward, which is great because I'm awful. Uh, let's see what the, does it show in the log here that we died? No, it doesn't. Because remember we died. So, huh. <clears throat> I have no idea what's going to happen now. I really have no idea. Let's see where we go. Here's our campaign. Chapter 4. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess technically we scored zero points. The Escape. This was the low point for you. Languishing in the Viscountess's dungeon in, dungeons in... Well, you weren't sure where this prison was. You wished that crazy wizard was here to help you. He was never around when you needed him. Abandoned you right as you had fallen into the Viscountess's arms. Just as you were cursing him, poof, a sword materialized out of thin air, clattering to the floor in a pile. Map setup. Arrange the map as shown. The face down, face down tiles are collapsed. Place the five artifact on the indicated location. Place your meeple in the indicated location. So I think we're good, right? If we're looking at this, I think we've got this all set up just right. Oh, wow. This is the way to do this. I don't know why I didn't do this when I was actually setting it up. I'm using my phone and turning things around. <laughs> okay. That is, that is way better. Okay. So that looks good. And then it says place the five and the monkeys out. We've got that done. Place us. And I'm not sure where it's telling me to put us. Place your meeple in the indicated location. So it looks way different when I pulled this up on my phone. Now I'm really curious. I kind of want to double check here because this won't take very long. That's bizarre. I think there's sound on this. Let me turn that down. This is interesting. Can I, oh, here. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see here. Games. I'm keeping, I'm using this to kind of keep my, oh, Sagrada also, to keep myself so I have, make sure I'm not messing with the one that we're all looking at here. And I can use this for the setup here. And play chapter four. Set up. It's wildly different. <laughs> okay, so again, take a look at the app. I'm not sure what it's saying. Is that like in the middle of of this, like right here? Is that right there? Or it almost looks like it could be right here. Again, whatever. And then when we look at it on on this, it's a little different. Oh boy, yeah, this will never work right. What if I use this? Ah, it's a million times better. So, see how it kind of looks like it's where I put my guy right here? Because I was using my phone to do the setup. Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I didn't expect this to happen. Well, let's... I... I, I I'm going to go with what the phone said, just because that's how I had it set up and it's been working so far. Let me back out of all this mess here. 
Yeah, wow, that's interesting. There's a there's an interesting tweet off to Dire Wolf to, to have a look at that. So let's let's get our stuff set back up here. Okay. And the next screen says, shuffle the depth tiles. You can't explore new tiles yet, but you will use them later in the game. Return the remaining safe tiles to the box. And place three of your cubes and three of your rival's cubes in the clank area. Place the dragon marker on the two space of the rage track. So you can see we've got on the two space, we've got three cubes for each of us here. And then we have set aside all kinds of stuff this time. So curator, elven sword, and one skeleton. All right, so curator, elven sword, and skeleton. And a key master a Marble Guardian and a Skeleton Warlock, and a Prisoner. Okay, set aside. Remove the Dragon Eggs as usual, and then we're starting. So here's all the stuff that we are setting aside, so we can see we pulled that out already. Wow, that's crazy. I don't know what to think about all this here. Okay, chapter start, find the way out. The wizard's voice echoed, find the way out. Sounding far off, break free of your prison. Mark the shrines, they will light your path. Okay, acquire elven sword and shuffle it into your starting deck. What? Was that one? Oh, here I grabbed like the wrong pile of cards. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, acquire the elven sword and shuffle it into your deck. These are all things that were in your starting deck. You cannot place new tiles or move off of the edges of the map. So we, wait, whoa, we're like stuck in this little room here. Place the skeleton near the map. You can defeat the skeleton from anywhere on the map. So let's, I don't know why this, okay, so where's our skeleton? So there's our skeleton. Each time you mark a way shrine, tap the way shrine button. Bonus goals. You need to mark enough way shrines to escape. Mark even more to improve your grade. Okay, acquire the Elven Sword. I do wish, you know, I love that this is a campaign. And like I said, I would absolutely pay for our more campaigns as they release them. But another thing is I really would love just like an AI to play just regular Clank with too. Uh, let's see here. Acquire Elven Sword. So it's in, um, let me just double check here. Did I do what I did? Like, I do a lot of things while I'm talking and not thinking. Okay. Because apparently I even mess up the librarian card again. <laughs> You cannot place new tiles or move off of the edges of the map. Place a skeleton near the map. I can kill him anywhere on the map. I'm being chased by a skeleton, huh? Each time you mark a way shrine, tap the way shrine button. That'll be obviously in the app. Bonus goals. Okay, continue. That's it. Mark a way shrine, steal an artifact, and defeat the skeleton. Okay, I think we can handle that. Although, I don't know. After our showing last time, I'm not entirely sure that we can. <laughs> Basically... I also don't know. Well, at least it sounds like I can, well, you know, I have no idea. I can't make any assumptions about this at all, obviously. <laughs> I do have one assumption. We have to get into serious clank mode. All right. So here we go. Let's see what we have here. We have no marketplace. We have, oh, how funny. A <laughs> That's funny. Did I mess up somehow? No, here's our skeleton. Yeah, and then here's our set aside stuff still. So we have all these things set aside still. How funny. We'll just put them over here. Okay, so we have another skeleton. We have payoff. We have lie in wait. Librarian. Oh, speak of the devil. Golden flute and robbery. So none of these have any bad things that we need to worry about. No, no on reveals and no whatevers. Uh, no dragons. Okay. And the elven sword was in our starting deck. How? I mean, our hand. I mean, how, how handy is that? Okay, so we have to mark a way shrine. So where's a way shrine here? So we have one here and one here. Steal an artifact. There's a loser of a five over here they had us put out to start with. And defeat the skeleton. Now, I don't know, I don't know if we're starting in the right place or not. I feel like maybe the app is right then if the like or the app the the computer one here I've got is correct and we start in the middle it almost makes more sense to me that we would you know start here and that's kind of where the app showed I guess <laughs> um, because now that I know that a goal is to mark away shrine they are you know far away like behind a crystal cave and behind a crystal cave it, it seems like now now that I'm seeing it I'm, 
design intent might have been something like this. That's that's my guess anyway. Um, how do you even get to that? God, through a mess, huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, this is this is much worse than it was a moment ago. So let's let's see what we can do here. Let's go. I mean, we may as well work towards one or the other. This one has both of the things that we need. We can take one step here using our side step into a, a crystal cave. And with our... God, we only have three points too. Well, that's okay. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so with our... Dang, I better not lose. Ugh, I don't want to lose robbery or payoff or the librarian, but I'm probably going to buy lion weight. So with our elven sword, I guess we kill this guy for one of our swords, right? So we're going to gain... Two gold right off the bat, plus one clank, of course, and kill the skeleton and go back to the app and say, defeat skeleton. No, I've climbed the big boss's big corporate ladder so high and still you defeat me so easily. Do I exist only to be destroyed by each time to be mocked? But by you each time to be mocked? No, next time I'll, I see you, I'll, I'll... And his last words were drowned out by the sound of keys jangling and the arrival of another guard. Place the key master near the map. You can defeat the key master from anywhere. Oh no. And the key master, now I need two swords again. Okay. <laughs> uh, so here's the key master. Uh, we have one other sword still on our elven sword, so we may as well use it to defeat another skeleton. We may as well because we get two more gold for it. And starting the game off with four gold seems like a great idea. I'm not so sure about starting the game off with so much clank in there. So I think the answer to that is to take our three burgles and purchase Lion Weight. And if you remember, because I know we've used this card a lot here, the on acquire is we can put it on the top of our deck, meaning we're in a crystal cave. We're going to draw this card first. And what's the saying? And Bob's your uncle. All right, so I imagine, and I can't prove it now because I have no idea how this goes, that this is just going to say do not remove anything. Yeah, see, trash no extra cards, refill normally. Okay, so knowing that, let's, oh, I'm supposed to have my hand already. Not that I have any cards that do anything. Okay, so now we know we have Lion Way. Oh, you know what it helps to do? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Skeletal Ape. Curse you and the Wishing Well. See, I was hoping to be able to remove the two clink before they got in there. Not only am I not doing that, but I'm also going to draw an extra cube. So four cubes right out of the gate. I wonder how well, oh, this is so interesting from just like a, like a programming level. Like, I wonder if we only put in three cubes this time because of the, um, because we lost so badly last time. And if we, we put in four last time, you know, because we did so well on the first two, you know, stuff like that. Or like maybe we removed the dragon cubes from the bag because we did so well in the first two chapters. I wonder, must be some kind of alternate timeline going on or something where we could have done so much better and, and, and had a different outcome. Okay, so here we are. Here's our two stumbles. So I guess it's going to work out anyway. So there's our two stumbles, but there's our lion weight, right? I forgot we were going to draw those anyway. So we're back to zero and we have two points and one more sword, which is not enough to kill the key master. And then one boot, four points, huh? Hmm. Well... There's a very decent chance of purchasing, or I mean, of drawing the sword next turn. However, we're going to need to be able to walk over to a shrine as well. So with our four points, we're buying two mercs, I think. Let's get, we, we didn't have enough swords last time, not at all. So we're going to buy two mercenaries for two each. And then we have one boot, and we can't really go anywhere. So I guess we just hang tight. I guess we're kind of stuck. So yeah, I think that's it. So we draw two cards, burgle and burgle, and we're going to have to draw three out of this pile. Hopefully, I mean, theoretically, we should get some serious swords here, right? Because we have now... Um, effectively two uh, mercenaries, right? Um, well, I guess the sword doesn't have any skills, so we, sh we should have three cards that have two swords on them in here now, so I think I think we stand a good chance of defeating the Key Master at this point. 
Okay, this is bizarre. Super cool though. All right, so let's go and draw our cards. One, two, three. We've got our hand ready here. We're gonna hit the app and it says, remove the two middle card. Ah, oh, the librarian and the scale. I really wanted that librarian. I really did. I really did, but I need swords to start. I just do this time. The underground river says we're going to do a dragon attack. And the Wishing Well says we're going to draw four cubes again. This is brutal right off the bat here, <laughs> drawing so many cubes out. I mean, there are seven Black Dragon cubes out of that bag already. Seven gone. Ugh, okay. All right, what have I got here? I have, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> this was terrible. <laughs> uh, this was actually the worst possible of, of draws, I think, because... I'm, I'm, I have, that's lying weight in the middle there, and I don't have any clank to pull out. Unbelievable. So we have one useless sword, and then we have uh, six points. So with our six points, I, oh man, and see now I don't want robbery because we have so much, so much like fighting in there, right? We got lots of, lots of swords. Um, well, we do have the money to do wishing well, actually. So you know what? I... Let's just do wishing well because that's going to it's gonna cost me three dollars. I, mean, I guess I guess that's our best bet just to get this out of here. I didn't think it was gonna stick around and we'll we see how that gamble paid off. Like, great, actually. So there's a scramble. So suddenly we're in better shape this turn. So far we haven't really done anything. Okay, so we are going to use the mercenary first to defeat the key master. Did it say anything about me not starting with lockpicks? I don't I don't recall if it did or not. I don't think it did because this guy was probably put here intentionally because it says take a lockpick, right? So we'll kill this guy and we will take a lockpick and we'll go to the app and defeat the key master. If you after defeating the key master, you liberated his keys. You had to try a lot of them before you found the one that would get you out. You are free. You can now explore and add new tiles as normal. That's it, huh? Okay. All right. Marker Way Shrine and Steal an Artifact are still our goals here. Okay, so now we're back to what we can we can actually maneuver around as we please, which is great because we can now do this. Watch, we can use a boot and a sword, right, to go through this path here. Zoop, and come on this side. Oh, what kind of a nightmare is this tile? Well, there's a lot of stuff going on. on look at this tile. There's a lot going on there. What do we want to do? What does the survey say? I think the survey says we put it like that. That way we're in a way shrine. And that way we can also say boom and take a gold back and mark a way shrine is one of our things, right? I mean, let me just make sure we've got everything here. So we've used all of our boots. All, all, all of our boot, I guess. We've used all three of our swords because we used one to fight in there and two to kill the key master. And that leaves us a whole ton of points and the one that we bought was zero. So all we have left is skill points. So let's see what the app says. <sighs> Mark away shrine. After leaving your offering, you saw a light appear, bright and yellow. This was not a ghost. You could feel it was somehow... It was different somehow. It trundled off through the air down a dark passageway. In that direction, you heard stone shifting and a yelp that sounded familiar. Uncollapse. A collapsed depth tile. Flip it face up. But do not add... Oh, speaking of tokens. Oh, no. Never mind. I thought that one had an artifact on it. Flip it face up, but do not add any tokens or artifacts to the tile. You may orient it in any way, and your rival... Oh, <laughs> that's funny. It gets plus two clank. Okay, so let's add their two rival clank cubes, and then we can flip up any tile, huh? Alrighty, well, that explains a lot. Let's go ahead and do this one. And I, I say that because I want to be able to get to this shrine here somehow. Right, we can we can scooch on through here somehow. So let's see, what's going to be the best? That's kind of ooh no, we got to get we got to get down here, down 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 here. So I guess that is the best way, right? I guess that's for our benefit anyway. Okay, so we have what? What did I say? Seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to spend. We have a lot going on this time. So hmm, mm -mm. we have eight to spend here. Well, 
Man. We could take swindle and robbery and just have like massive coin coming in. <laughs> that would be kind of nice. We could also take robbery. That's a lot of swords. We could also take robbery and the underground river and payoff though, which is a lot of cards. Payoff will go away, but it'll pay off in the future. Underground river we could use to heal one right now. Um, and then robbery. Gosh, I really think robbery and swindle are the moves though. I do. Those are great cards, both of them. Okay, so I think we're done. Because robbery, on acquire, you may put this on top of your deck. Uh, maybe we do. Swindle is just three gold, right? That's just take three gold, which is always nice. That's just, just victory points rolling in. But this is two gold. We don't have enough boots now, though. We've got all the swords. We have more swords now than I had in chapter three on turn like three. Um, do we put this on the top of our deck? If you're in a market room, no, I'm, I'm nowhere near a market room. So no, we're not going to do that. We're going we're gonna to opt not to do that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go to the app, and the app says, next turn, the two on the left, ah, payoff got nuked. All right, let's see here. We have Shadow Walk, which is a fantastic card. We have the Darkened Alcove, which calls for a dragon attack, an animated wall. Uh, we've got all kinds of problems. Okay, so rotate each square tile with any players on it 180 degrees. Oh, no. Oh, no, look how awful that was for me, because now I'm going off into the void. Oh, come on. Come on, we gotta do a dragon attack. I have the luck, I'll tell you. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right, but we do not have our danger out there, so we're back down to three cubes. It is, ooh, good. Two of Max Lightfoot's cubes, our rival, and one Black Dragon cube again, though. We're running out of those cubes, so we might need to, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're in trouble, because I really wanted to, oh, man, I can't believe it. Like, what a good plan that was, to rotate that that way to hit two, you know? And then game says no. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. All right. Plus one clank here. Oh, can we see this? Plus one clank for that. We have the Elven Sword. It says to draw a card. We're going to draw a Mercenary. Um, man, that's a real shame the animated wall didn't have the option to let you re-rotate stuff. That'd be pretty great. Um, okay, well, with that said, I guess we be walking, right? We're gonna walk one space off to the, uh oh, off to the left here. Man, <laughs> I can't believe that. And a ghost cube is now going in. Okay, well, there's a, there's a way shrine here, which, you know, I guess we're looking for this time. So I guess we're gonna do this. And, uh, oh, I guess I never really specified which way I was going, huh? That's a huge bummer. I should have. I didn't actually notice there was even two, so uh, we'll just go that way. Both of them have got, uh, bad guys going up in there, so I guess it's not too bad. Oh, the, wow. Of all the tiles for me not to point that out on, that tile's a mirror. Okay, um, no big deal then. All right, so now we still have... Oh, God, we have four swords this time, so let's take... Two of those swords to kill the animated wall, which says if you defeat the animated wall, gain a boot. So we're going to use that boot, and we are going to use one of our other two swords to go into this way shrine, which we will then mark. We will now gain $2, and then we have to go back to the app to see what it says about... You know, I, I, I can fix this, and I just don't think about it when I'm not recording this here, is I can make the cards behind the app so I don't have to worry about taking them off. Ah, oh, mark away shrine. The same light rose from the shrine, bouncing off into the darkness. This time, it illuminated a shadowy figure. I know the ways through these caverns, she said. I helped the Viscountess build them, helped her procure certain necessities all dungeons must have. I can help you navigate them for a price. Uncollapse a collapsed depth tile. Flip it face up, but do not add any tokens. And it specifically says depth tile, not a safe tile. Don't add any tokens or artifacts to the tile. You may orient it in any way. So that's going to be this other one. Oh, crud. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess. Mm, yeah. That's the 
Duff. Okay. That's... <laughs> All right. Let's see. I like that here. Uh, and do not any tokens or artifacts. You may spend four gold. Oh, I have four gold to acquire the curator this turn. If you do not gain a minor seeker. Well, that was just dumb luck. Um... Oh, I guess I just do it. Okay. So I just happen to have exactly four gold. So let's do that. So she must be in the pile here. Yep. Curator. Okay then, right? Draw a card for each artifact you have. I mean, I have zero right now, but... Okay, so we have no more boots. We have one more sword. Oh, the animated wall's garbage. No more boots, one more no more swords, or one more sword, and three points to buy stuff. And man, look at how funny this is. Is my best bet really going to be... Like, so pillage is out there? Pillage is an option because I can... I can benefit from that because I we have two other money make or uh, cash making cards in there, um, but I'm starting to think I think it was over here. But I'm starting to think, you know what? Here, darkened alco. Oh no, ooh, shadow walk is out here too. I was gonna say we take the underground river so that we can walk now because we have one sword, so we can at least get down here to make next turn even better. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that because we have that spare sword kicking around, so we'll 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 walk into here, and we use our last remaining sword we didn't use to fight our way back out through that tunnel. That's two of our three points, so we can't buy anything else. So that's it. I, I, if I lose Shadow Walk, I'm gonna be very upset. So <laughs> all right, so we have only one card. All right, let's see what the app says. Well, we lost Pillage and Golden Flame, the two cards on the right this turn. So these are gone. And filling it up, we have the Bard. We have, oh, the Spectral Writer. I like you so much, and I've never actually been able to use you. So maybe I don't really like you that much. I like the idea of you. Uh, sneak Attack, minus two Clank, and on a right, we have Thieves Shrine, which is awesome. Put three Dragon Cubes back in the bag. Boy, I need to find one more of those. <laughs> That's for sure. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we've got here. We have, we need four cards. Four cards. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. See, I've got no boots. No boots, no boots, no boots. No boots. And a stumble, though. Oh, I might not be able to go anywhere, but I can certainly make noise in this dungeon. All right, so let's see here. We have... I'm not in a crystal cave, and I will not be. I have nobody to kill out here, of course. Um, I do have the Elven Sword, which is draw a card. So let's see what that does before we make any other mistakes. Great. <sighs> okay, it was a burgle. Man, this is this is really bad all of a sudden. Um, okay, so we have three, four, five points um, and three swords. So I guess we kill the goblin for one, and with our... With our five points, I think we buy... Oh my god, I can't... As, as bad as I want this, because it's just, you know, minus two clank, I don't want another heavy sword in here, I don't think. I think we have to take Shadow Walk, and if we take Darkened Alcove right now, and we use it for just the minus two clank, because we've, we've got two clanks sitting in here, and we're already not feeling good about it, <laughs> I think that that's going to be our best bet. That is going to end our turn. How uneventful, but we definitely need to get some more boots in here. Maybe we need to start buying some explorers, huh? Get some of those on the go, as they say. All right, the mm, app says the two middle cards. Ah, goodbye, Spectral Rider and the Bard are out. And we have the Darkened Alcove. Great, so we, um, um, you know, have to draw from the bag, so I guess it was a good thing. The Rebel Thief... The Expert Guide and Sudden Movement. Oh, wow, those are all good cards. Uh, I guess it was a good thing we took out those two clank when we did. We are drawing three more. And we have three black cubes. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, at least we have some boots this time. Nobody to kill on the on the dungeon row, of course. Yeah, we gotta we got to really pick up the pace on some of these. Gosh, I need one more to buy Expert Guide, who has two boots on her. Gosh. Okay. Um, oh, and we pulled out this, too, right? Each player alone on a square must rotate that to a new orientation. That's a bummer. I guess we better do this. 
<clears throat> sudden movement had him arrive, and I only read that arrive, I guess. Okay. Well, that, oh gosh, that's an awful rotation. Let's rotate this like that so we can go down. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Alrighty. At least we can come this way and, you know, I want to get back here so I can go up to that way shrine. So let's see here. I'm going to put, since I'm the only player, I'm going to put them in the center of the way shrine. Let's go. All right, so we have some boots. We have no card with any text on them, so it's just all about the symbols here. So let's go ahead and spread out what we've got. So let's take one boot down here and say, oh, God. I mean, I guess of all the turns to have this happen, we'll gain three gold for the, the what are they, it's called the layer. I was calling it the pit always. Okay, so there's that. You know what? I'm going to use a lockpick to take a major secret. Let's just see if we can get something good here. Let's see if we can get something good. A chalice. That's worth seven victory points. That'll help our score. So we have one boot left, but we also have four swords. So if we use... Ooh, I don't want to connect those two. Let's go down this way. So let's use two of the swords to go there... Oh, that's a bummer. That would have been great, probably, to wind up there. Um, well, we need to get up here somehow. So no matter what we do, we need to make sure we can connect to this little pathway. So that will do it. Okay, so what that did was that used an extra sword. That was two, three swords. So we only have one sword left, which really doesn't do us any good anyway. Uh, we need to draw an artifact for that right there. And I don't want to, it's a little low. And since we're going to be doing some exploring, I think we're going to leave that artifact alone. Let's just spend our four points. We can't walk anywhere else. We can't use one boot. So we have four skill points. Yikes, there's some good stuff out here. And as bad as I want to take the Thebes Shrine to dump the Burgles, I really feel like we're running a massive deficit on boots. So I'm going to take Sudden Movement for three. That leaves us one skill point we can't do anything with. But we definitely need some more boots. We have to counteract the, the heavy, heavy sword uh, cards that we got in here. So we are going to trash... Ah, sneak it... Ah, the Thieves' Shrine. Bandit, that's a good one. Sudden Movement again. So now I've got to rotate again. So there's no dragon, but we do have to, uh, we do have to rotate. Oh, that's a bummer. I went here for a reason. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this, this game hates me. Okay, there we go. Right, it's not 180. It just says <clears throat> it just says each player alone on a square tile must rotate it to a new orientation. So at least we get some choice in the matter. Okay, so what did we grab here? We grabbed swindle, which is plus three, and we grabbed robbery, which is plus two. So I'm just going to take a fiver, and we have a two burgles. And the curator, draw a card for each artifact you have. We have zero artifacts. <laughs> of course. So we have one boot and two swords. One boot and two swords. Gosh. Well, we could go in here and take that. <clears throat> I'm not sure, <clears throat> excuse me, that that's what I want to do. So let's use one boot to come back up here. And then our two swords, I guess, are going to kill the goblin. So we'll gain another gold. And then we have four points to spend. Now the question... Raymond is what did you want to be? So I, I could take the bandit, which gives us a sword and a boot, which could get us into the way shrine. But I feel like if we spend four points on sudden movement and payoff, we're a little better off for it in the future. I think that's the move, right? The idea being that sudden movement has two boots on it so we can actually move. Although, you know... Crystal Caves always have something to say about that when I think I'm going to be moving a lot, right? So <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. All right, please don't take... Oh, don't don't be the middle is what I don't want. Actually, I don't want any of that to go. They're all good. Oh! <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that. Nobody went. How rare is that? Okay. Charlatan and the Smoky Quartz, which is a dragon. So we have to do this. Man, the problem... Boy, I like the, I like the charlatan, too. Okay, so now... Oh, man. 
If there was ever a turn where I had a bunch of skill points to blow, this should be the turn. I need this to be the turn. I need uh, 18 skill points. <laughs> Let's see here. I got one card, two, three, four, and five. We have to do a dragon for the smoky quartz pull. All right, and we're doing three, one, two, three. One of mine and two. Wow, I'm, I'm pulling a lot of black dragon cubes this time. Okay. All right, Max and I are on equal footing on damage. I can accept that. Oh no, really? Man, look at that. Two stumbles. How awful. How awful. Especially because... Especially... Oh wow, that's... I, I needed the most skill points I could possibly grab, and I grabbed two. Which means we're going to be saying goodbye to some very, very good cards. So somehow I got Swindle again already. All right. One, two, three, and then a Burgle and a Merc. Really? Like, that's it? Holy smokes, that turn was... Okay, right, so we have two points, and it won't bite literally anything except for the Darkened Alcove, so that's minus two Clank. What a turn! <laughs> and two swords to kill the Goblin, because, again, sometimes this happens. I have played, you know, more Clank than I care to admit, really. It's probably illegal how much Clank I've played, and... There are whole games that we have played where you just literally do not fight anybody just because the dungeon row is so random. It's great. Uh-oh, something happened here. What does this say? If you are on a square tile, collapse the nearest square tile. Oh, no. Oh, no! The Bandit and the Expert Guide, probably the two best ones in here that I wanted, are now gone. Oh, crud. So let's, let's just collapse this garbage. We're not coming back here anytime soon. All right. Let's draw our cards and refill the deck here, the row. Uh-oh, dragon attack. A waystone. I love that thing. Okay. So we have to draw three more. I feel like my luck is going to be running out here real soon. There's only so many cubes in this bag. All right. Oops. I knocked the, the pile somehow. Uh, wow. I guess not. Today might be the lucky day. <laughs> All right. So that's two purples. So that's Max, and a black one up here, two rival cubes, and what have we got here? So we have, we have, we have a lot going on, and like of all the times I don't draw enough swords, we have the Ogre Merchant out here, right? Isn't that the way? Okay, so first off, we have Shadow Walk. That's going to let us trash a Burgle in my discard, so I've got one right here. And that's going to give us one boot. I am not in a crystal cave. So we're going to use that one boot, I guess, and one sword to walk into the way shrine, to mark the way shrine, to gain us one, two, three gold. We have a lot of gold here. Okay, three gold. Clink, clink. And then we have to uh, do what now? The app says mark a way shrine. Oh, snap. As this light trailed off, it lit a shadowy cell that you'd missed. Exploring it, you found the last thing you'd expect you expected to see. Max was there, slouched against the bars. Well, we sure had a good run down here, bickering over treasure, setting traps for each other, trying to get all these caves to collapse. Anyway, best of luck out there. I'm done. You've won. He looked so dejected. Or you could let me out. I can carry your treasure for you. Yes, and if you leave me here to rot, uh, to rot here, I'll curse your name before all the living and the dead. Do you free Max or leave him in his cell? <sighs> Max, Max, Max. Max does not strike me as a bad guy. There's also no honor among thieves. <laughs> so I kind of feel... Oh, here, I've got these stupid cards in the way. Yeah, I'll fix. i got to remember to fix that. It's just that it's... In the order that it is, that this is too high up for the app, I realize now. Um, so, wow. We could be a complete jerk and leave Max, but I think we're going to free Max. I'm just not that guy, so let's hit free Max. Thanks! You know, despite it all, the insults, the pranks, everything, I don't know what I would do if this was over. I'll help you get out of here, but then we're even. We go back to antagonizing each other. We never speak of this again. Free the set-aside adventurer prisoner. So that's this right here. So now we have Max. 
Your rival Max has now joined you. If he takes... Oh, my God. And, of course, this time he has more hit points damage, or more damage on him than I do. If he takes 10 damage and is knocked out, you are knocked out as well. Whenever you heal, you may heal damage from yourself or Max instead. Max can carry an artifact for you. You may put one artifact on his prisoner token to remind you that it does not count toward your limit. Cool. And heal one. So... Crime and me. All right. <laughs> okay. When Max is knocked out, you're knocked out. You may spend a heal to heal Max instead. Wow. Well, let's heal Max this time. Maybe this was a terrible idea. Oh, wicked cool, though. I mean, really well done, guys. All right. Let's see here. So, um, yeah, we've got this as well. We, what have we done? We've moved one and used one boot. So we have two boots, two swords, and a whole mess of points. Two boots, two swords. Two boots, two swords, and no clink in the pile. That's a bummer, huh? Three, four, five, six. Of course, we have seven points. We have seven points. We could buy... Oh, that's interesting. So what happens on, like, an Acquire where it says each other player gets plus two clink, even though, like, he's mine now, sort of. You know, like, we're working together. Discard a card to draw two cards. If we move two spaces, where could we get to? We could get to the Monkey Shrine, but the problem is we can't move down. We need to get up here somehow. So we have two boots left. I mean, yeah, we have two boots left and two swords left. We could just go over here. Right, that uses our two swords, plants us right there. We're in a crystal cave now. Because of lion weight, we get minus two clank. So let's let's use this opportunity, three, four, five, six, seven, to buy the smoky quartz, which is plus two clank, meaning we're at zero clank now. So that was kind of a freebie. Uh, but that did cost us four, so this is trashed. All right, so we are down to three points left. Do we buy the Rebel Thief or the Waystone? I think we buy the Rebel Thief for three. That is fantastic. Take a lockpick and possibly draw a card. And I did be sure to discard payoff to trash payoff. I think that's about as good as a turn as we could have made that. Unbelievable. Max, what is going on here? This is wild. Okay. Off to the app. Next turn. The left to the ogre merchant. No, I like you. I like killing you for your money. All right, so let's do the bandit. Also a good card. The thirst for adventure, which has a dragon, which we don't want to draw, and the rebel general. So we're drawing three. This is a weird map. All right, one, two, three. And it's me this time, I suppose better than Max, given the situation. Okay, so there's that. What have we got here? We have... Am I, a, am I anywhere near a market? No. No, I'm not. Was there any arrive stuff I missed? No. Okay. One oh, behind a stinking... Uh, thing so all right since we're in a crystal cave that happens to have take a major secret i'm going to do that now i wasn't so sure what was going to happen but i'm going to do it now just to see if we can't get some some more goodies to happen to us here <gasps> the dungeon map this might be my favorite item in the game right up there with trash a card maybe better than that all right so we have oh i do have to move this up because when we took max we should go up one probably it didn't really specify um, so I'm going to just move it up anyway, just to be sure. Okay, so we have, what do we get? The dungeon map is good to remember. Max can carry an artifact, so we essentially have a free backpack here. But now we can move backwards through, not backwards, but like opposite uh, the arrows, which is pretty cool for me. I like being able to do that. Okay. All right, let's see here. Um... Hmm, we've got three boots. Let's just do it. So robbery is going to give me two gold. I'm, I'm, Max is going to steal all my, my goods here. I just know it. Uh, so we have three boots. So let's use one boot to go zoop into here. Sh should we free a prisoner? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we just hold on. Do we, do we, 
Gosh, because we already have one, I'm going to do it just to see two. I'll take one from each stack just for the heck of it. <laughs> we keep getting this guy. <laughs> oh, no. What does she do? Is she two swords this turn? Barbarian immediately gained two swords to use on this turn. Okay, so we have four swords now, and of course, nobody to kill. Um, I like this guy because he's worth a point per thing. Okay, so we have four swords. So maybe we just kill the goblin twice. Now I'm going to remember that. Well, hold. Well, I don't want this to be messed up, so let's move to a way shrine with our other two boots. And then we will... Okay, and then we will place a cube here, which is now one, two, three, four. So I'm going to put one... I should probably clean some of this up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I should pull out the, the gold coins to show you what those look like. Those are cool, too. Okay, yeah, now we're rolling in it. Okay, so we marked a way shrine off to the app to see. I can't fix this without doing something over the computer, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, mark away shrine. This light floated off gleefully to the sound of Umbrock Vesna's roar. Uncollapse a collapsed safe tile. Man, on the very first tile, I didn't specify in my brain which it was. I just chose a, a, a depths tile, and I wonder now if it said safe tile. Um, well, we're nearest this one, so... Well, no, we'll be over here. Um, do not any see. You may orient it anyway. Increase rage. So our rage goes up to four... Um, and then, oh, look at that. There's no, oh, wait, we have a new thing up here, though. This is flashing. Mark away shrine is now an extra thing. Now we can escape, and we do not even have an artifact. Okay, this is the safe tile I chose for whatever bleeding reason. And we're going to need it to get, oh, crud, all the way down here somehow. So my plan is going to be to come down here, hit this, hit this, I guess perhaps, ooh, we gotta keep a, a lock pick. Hit this. Oh no, that goes the wrong way. Oh, this tile's garbage. Let's see here. Come on, I need to get here somehow. This tile is trash for what? <laughs> okay. Are you serious now? Our best bet is gonna be this. Unreal. Okay. Yeah, jerk. All right, so we've used all of our boots. Um, we've used, I guess, our swords because we killed the goblin, right? Or did I do that yet? I don't think I did that yet. I think I said I was holding off. So we'll take, well, I've got three more here. So let's put these three in. There's all four of our swords used. That was the two from robbery and the two from the barbarian. And so all we have left are four skill points. So let's see here. We can buy... We can buy the charlatan. Man, the waystone seems like it'd be a wonderful thing to have this game, doesn't it? The problem is, is I need it in my hands now. Look at this. We have four of these marked, and they'd all be going the wrong way, though. We could take... Ooh, you know what? I'm going to do this, and it's probably not a bright idea. It's... I really want the charlatan, and I'm going to regret this, but I'm buying this guy because he gives me a boot, and I'm going to use that boot to move here, which is going to heal me for one, or max. Um, that's what we're doing. Okay. That was our turn. Three, four, five cards. Let's see what the app says to blow away. Well, I still don't have an artifact. I can't get out of here just yet. Ooh, ah! <laughs> oh, the three on the right. Ah, oh, that's it. Oh no, I have to, oh yeah, I don't know that. Okay, I'll have to play with the, the graphics for this later and figure this out. Okay, Astral Projection, which we know and love. Now, the Thieves Shrine arrived, put three cubes from the dragon back in the bag, yes! And then we have, arrive, oh no. So we gotta rotate where we are. And then a, a dragon. So we have to rotate. We got the animated wall says it's 180 degrees. I don't need, I don't get a choice. This one says that. And I guess of all tiles for me to be standing on at the time, that was the one to be standing on. So there's some good luck to counteract all of the bad luck that I have had. Okay, so let's see. Because it's still going where I want it to go. And now we're drawing four cubes. So I think I'm missing one. Yep, I need one more. Max, don't die! There we go. Three black dragon cubes again. All right. So this time it's max. 
Okay, <clears throat> so we have just barely enough. Unreal. So, okay, so draw a card. A burgle. All right. Burgle, 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 burgle. Draw a card for each artifact you have. We have zero artifacts. We do have two boots, though, so we can come into the monkey room and take a monkey idol. And then it's three burgles. So really, we've used our boots. We have two swords. We can kill this guy, animated wall jerk, with our two swords. So it says defeat, we gain a boot. So we're going to use that boot to move into this way shrine. Yeah, right? That right there connects to that way shrine. So we put a cube there. Oh, I'm going to be so angry. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We're loaded with money. This is crazy. I guarantee Max takes half of it or something again at the end of this. <laughs> um, so we're out of swords and out of boots. We have to use the app to mark a way shrine. Poof! That familiar sound heralded not your wizard friend, but another warlock you recognized. So we meet again, young adventurer. The warlock boomed, barring your path. This is farther than you were supposed to make it any further, and you will be dangerously close to the Vis Viscountess's secrets. Now stand and die. It's time we finished this adventuring folly. Place the skeleton warlock near your current tile. Um... You cannot leave this tile until the skeleton warlock is defeated. That's a that's a fine how do you do, huh? Steal artifact, escape, and defeat warlock. Okay, buddy. Alright, two, three, four, five. So we have five points to spend. Five skill points. What are we buying here? All of our crap is in discard. I kind of feel like the Thieves Shrine. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's the move right there, right? We're going to take the Waystone, which only costs one, and then we're going to take this, which is a device that lets us trash up to two Burgles. We're going to get these out of there right now. So we are three Burgles down, so the device goes away, and we are out of cards. So we are going to have to shuffle before we can draw our new hand. Oh, we better draw some swords to kill this guy. Ugh. Sometimes that happens. Okay, let's see what gets trashed. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, what happened here? End of turn. If you're on a square tile, collapse the nearest square tile. I really, I'm just not a fan sometimes of that. So I guess this time, our best move is going to be to collapse the tile north of us, right? Like up, um, and the reason I say that is because I don't plan on going back up there, and I don't know if I might wind up, jeez Louise, uh, if I don't know if I might wind up passing through here again, so, like through here again. So we'll collapse that tile, and we still have to trash stuff on the dungeon row. That says the three right cards, so Blink Spell is gone, which is a bummer. That costs eight. I really wanted to buy this card. But look at, look at that. Blink spell, teleport to an adjacent room or teleport to another player in the depths. So I really would have liked to have that just for the teleport, but it's eight and I didn't have that. So I can't cry about it too much because there was no chance of me getting it. Okay. Hopefully this has been sufficiently shuffled. One, two, three, four, five. And five, okay, so we have to do Grand Theft, Riot, Charlatan, oh, and the Lux Trunk. And here I thought we were going to make it out without a dragon attack. Oh, man, there's not a lot of cubes in this bag. Um, that's a bummer. Okay, one, two, three, and four. All black dragon cubes. There are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15. So we know there are 9 dragon cubes left in that bag. <laughs> oh, gosh. And I'm short a sword, baby. Just what I didn't need. Unbelievable. Wow. Okay, so there's plus one clank. I don't know what to do now. Because I'm stuck on this tile. I, I cannot leave. I don't have a... Oh, I... No. Oh, unbelievable. I have Shadow Walk, which says I can walk, but I can't. 
because I'm coming this way, so I can't leave the tile and I can't. I don't have a burgle to, to drop. This says take a lock pick, which is great and all, but um, I don't have another companion. This is a single boot I can't use. This is gain two dollars, and if I'm in a market room, I can teleport, but I'm not. So really, what are we looking at here? We have nobody to kill. We can't use any boots. Oh my god, do we have no skill points? And zero skill points. I have never, in all of the millions of Clank games I've ever played, had a turn where I couldn't do anything. I could always do something. Well, there's my turn. <laughs> okay, next turn. Three cards gone. <clears throat> wow. All right, we have the Fiery Quartz, which means it's four more cubes out of the bag. The Crystal Kobold, also a dragon attack, and arrive. Put three dragon cubes back in the bag. So one, two, three. That's going to help a lot. Unbelievable. I never drew my cards. That's okay. I don't have anything that will help. Ah, oh, jeez. I think we just need to grab any artifact and hightail it out of here. Is that three or four? Three. Oh my god, and they're all black. And that one's black too. <laughs> We're gonna die in one round is what's gonna happen here. That's 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 all there is to it. We're just going to draw and kill Max or myself in one round, probably. Well, I guess we technically can't. I mean we could have a a a a, a danger out here and it could happen. Okay, we have all the swords. That we need this time so that's good do we have any text yes we have one we have elven sword to draw a card <clears throat> oh and of all the things it's the waystone card <laughs> okay all right well not so sure that's what i want just right this turn anyway but here we are so let's go ahead and let's play the bandit to kill the Skeleton Warlock. So that's the three damage we need, the three swords. Take a secret tome, but we also add one clink to the bag. Which at this point, I almost think that adding clink to this bag might be a good thing. There's very few cubes in there. Okay, so let's take a look at what the app says. Oh, I never cleared this. Okay, so we defeated the Skeleton Warlock. It has been written in the stars for a thousand years that you should defeat me twice, but the third time I will destroy you. With a flash, he was gone. For some reason, his books hadn't gone with him. Acquire an additional secret tome. Uncollapse a collapsed safe tile. Flip it face up, but do not add any tokens. You may orient it in any way. Okay, so I chose the bottom one here. All right, um... We need to be able... To... Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> I need to... How am I supposed to come down here and connect up to here? Oh, this is so... So bad. This is so bad. This is... This is so unbelievably bad. <laughs> okay, I guess it doesn't matter. What? What? Okay, so... Oh, this is... This is something, I'll tell you. All right. And we still can't find very many artifacts. I don't know what's going on with that. <clears throat> okay, so Skeleton Dude is dead. We have three boots, and of course there's a crystal cave right in front of us. Oh no, we have the... <gasps> we have this mess. We have this. We have this, this, this. One... Oh, but it doesn't get us where we want to go. Oh, you know what? Knowing that... Hold on a second here, because now I can go here, here, and... If I'm coming in here now... That's what I want, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way to do it. Okay. So knowing that, knowing that we're we're <sighs> we need an artifact, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, let's you know maybe one, two, three. Maybe that's not an awful plan. <clears throat> I have I have determined that I might need to make a change in my strategy here, just based on, on what we're looking at. And I'm starting to think... that the best move... is going to be so if we play all of our cards so here's the here's the new plan right 
<clears throat> so here's the here's the deal. We haven't moved yet, so we have four boots. We have used three swords. So really we have four boots and two swords. If we trash the waystone and and warp to here, right? Because that's what it says. You may trash this to teleport from one waystone to another, right? So we're gonna trash it, but we still have its boot. And we have two swords. So we use its boot and one sword here. We use a second boot. We use a third boot and the second mercenary sword to get into here to take the 10. Push the dragon up, but at least now we have an artifact. Now we still have a fourth boot, right? Zoop, one, two, three. So we still have a fourth boot. It's the one that we threw away, so it's not on the screen, but we're out of swords and we only have, so we have one boot and four skill points. So with four skill points, well, let's let's draw a tile first. We'll come down here. We have to use a lock pick. Dang, I was really hoping to find another way shrine. It's really interesting, the stuff that we're finding. Let's do this. We're in a crystal cave. We have a seven in here, I guess. I mean, seven points is seven points. Okay, so now we're out of... We are completely out of movement and swords but we have four skill points left okay so let's see here four skill points <clears throat> what do we do what do we do with four skill points i think we take the charlatan just in case there's something we don't want to use we can discard it and draw two cards right just just in case there's we're not grabbing what we want that allows for a little bit more in the way of leeway on, on bad draws is the idea there. Uh, we're gonna trash the locked trunk and the riot. Uh, that's too bad, okay. So we're gonna place a rose quartz, which is another dragon draw. All players get plus one clank. So that's both of us in. And another dragon draw, dragon, dragon attack. Four cubes this time. There's not a lot of cubes in here. We gotta get out of here. So sure, now I'm drawing all the dragons. <laughs> two of mine and two dragon cubes. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is this is intense. Okay. Of course, we drew an absolute massive pile of boots. We have four boots, minus two clank. Draw a card for each artifact you have. Draw a card, oh man. And of course, that's a crystal cave. And if I recall, I don't think we have anything that says <clears throat> move through crystal caves this turn, right? I don't think so. Jeez, okay. Okay, and only two swords. So, we're in a crystal cave, so we may as well blow our, well, we need to walk and not take damage, so. Two, three, four, five. We could be up to six. I guess we're going to do it. Okay, so here's the plan. We have two swords. We're going to use that to kill the Crystal Kobold. The Crystal Kobold gives us two more skill this turn because we're in a Crystal Cave, so that's fine. We can kill him. So we have now two, three, four, five, six, seven points. I'm going to use six of those points to buy the Fiery Quartz, which is plus two clank on a choir. However, I have minus two clank and draw a card. So I'm gonna draw a card. Then, oh, this is wild. Then we have, for each artifact you have, draw a card, I'm gonna draw a card, and make plus one clank. Boom. Then we have, if I'm in a crystal cave, I am minus two clank. So I'm gonna take this clank back. So right now we're running at minus one clank still. <laughs> and then we have a whole mess of boots, but we've Spent our, we've spent six of our points. So let's take a look here. <clears throat> and we used our two swords, right? Didn't we use, we used just two, so we have one extra sword now. Okay, so we gotta remember that this guy's going to get discarded, and we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, minus six. So we have three points left. Three points left. Um, we've made the stumble already. We're actually at negative one on Clank still. Okay, we've, and we've drawn all of our cards, 
And unfortunately, we would still have to stay in a crystal cave if um, that were the case. So let's go. <clears throat> and we have how many boots? Four boots. God, that's too bad. <laughs> okay, so we'll go one boot. And now I need to keep track of what's going on because this, this turn has a lot of points all of a sudden. So, oh, you know what I didn't do? Crud, I just noticed it. Steal an artifact. The earth-shattering roar of Umbrock Vesna's resounded in every wall and surface. Things everywhere smacked to the ground. Remove one item each from the, Marcus from the market, including the highest crown value. Okay, okay, right. I picked up that wherever I was. Just, just here last. Okay, so we're we're we haven't bought anything from the market, so that's not going to change things. Thankfully, because we just now got to a market. Okay, so the dragon destroyed stuff from the market. Whew. Okay, so now that we're sitting in the market, I guess we do spend. If we buy, gosh, I really wish I had like one more damage on me, which is maybe a weird thing to say, uh, because I could heal it, right? And that's kind of just a nice thing to do. Um, let's go with seven dollars, seven, seven gold for the crown. I, I really don't really want to buy a lot. I mean, we can, here, here's ten more, so we'll take three back and buy the other crown, I guess. I mean, it's literally just one, plus one point for us, right? That's not a big deal. Um, and we still have enough to buy two more things if we wanted. I don't think we're going to be seeing any more, we need to get out of here. I mean, that's bottom line, right? We can't be messing around. We're going to die. So let's go ahead and use some of these boots. So let's use one boot from the curator. What did I do? Didn't I just pull yellow one more boot, I guess? How many boots do we have total here? Four. So if I take, I just happen to have these yellow cubes on the table now. I just want to use them to keep track of how many boots I have. So we're going to go down that way. And let's see what we get. There's another artifact. I do not want to wind up in a crystal cave. I don't want to wind up there. I don't want to wind up there. That sucks. But that's all we can do. Okay, so that's boot number two. <clears throat> well, maybe we do... Okay, so then we use... I guess we could use another boot and a lockpick here. Right? So that that's three of our four boots. And then, oh, and the artifact would be the 15. So if we take the 15, we move this up. Okay, so there's that. And then I don't have another boot I can produce, right? Oh, we can draw another card because now we have two artifacts. So this says you can draw a, a card for each artifact you have. So let's, I need a boot. Damn. <laughs> ah, a burgle. Okay, that was quite the thing. So I think we're just going to eat that boot because I need one more boot to get to this crystal cave. So next turn is going to be not a whole lot of walking, it looks like. Uh, let's go back and, and replay some things here. So this guy, oh, and the stumble. And this guy got killed for two of our swords. So you have one boot, which is useless to us. So we're, I mean, one sword. So we're out of swords. We used three of our four boots and we spent two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minus six. Six. So we have four points left, huh? Not great. I don't even think I'm gonna buy anything. Like I don't really need an explorer to bloat the deck with. I mean it does have a boot on it, and, and maybe we're still ah yeah, let's do it just, just because it's not quite bloat when that's all I need is boots, right? I can't complain. So we're gonna buy an explorer for three. We will tuck that away, and we're going to draw. Do we even have enough cards? Of course not. Oh man. I need to get us out of here. I believe, you know, if we run out of cubes, we lose as well, right? We can't have an empty dragon bag, so we need to hide. We need this to connect to this right here. I mean, that's it. That's 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 game over. There's there's no other way to do this, or we get lost in the, in the depths. You know, there's there's not another option here for us. We have to get out. And we blew our way shrine thing already. So we, and we have no more lock picks. So we can't teleport from the way shrines. We blew our lock pick and we, we basically are gambling on this connecting to down here. <laughs> we need this to come down. <laughs> wow. Oops. We need this to come down somehow. Okay. So let's see what the app says. 
we are doing this turn. Collapse the nearest square tile. And then we're going to move the arch, the, uh, yeah, the, the, the overlord, the rose quartz, and then remove traps. Okay, we got to collapse the nearest square tile, which is this one. So that artifact is now out of the game. Oh, man. Now we really don't have a choice. <laughs> um, so we collapse the tile. These three are gone. And the new market says we have the loot. We have a dragon attack with a plus one uh, danger. Oh, man. Another dragon attack. The black market. And another danger. Holy smokes. We're drawing seven cubes. I don't even think there are seven cubes in here. No, there's definitely seven cubes. Oh, crap. Four, five. I can tell you how many cubes there are. There are four more in here. <laughs> four, five, six, seven. Wow. So Max is going to take three. And I'm going to take two. I can't believe we're going to die down here again. Oh, man. Oh, this is so... So awful. Come on, we gotta pull out a win. Three, four, five cards. Oh dear god. Okay, so we gotta stumble, which means plus one clank. We got yeah, we're gonna die next turn no matter what, actually. Um oh yeah, no, we lost. <laughs> we're gonna use our two boots from sudden movement to get into the crystal cave there. Um then we are going to use swindle to gain three gold. And that's really kind of all we can do. We have one, two, three points that we can buy, skill points to buy. Three skill points to buy something. Let's just buy the Underground River, right? Why not? It's got a boot on it. Let's just see what happens when we go this way. Oh, it's a Crystal Cave. I can't. Then I guess we buy it to heal. <sighs> I'm stuck. Um... And then we have, what, one, two swords to kill the goblin once. And that's it. That was my turn. Man, that's terrible. Next turn is collapse the nearest square tile. Again. So we got to figure that one out. I guess, like, oh, man. And then these three. Okay, hold on a second here. Let's look at, just for clarity, instructions, collapses. Locate the tile that have, it must be this safe tile, right? The multiple, uh, the starting tile cannot be collapsed. Drew's, all tiles, square tiles, and tiles, and tiles, and tiles. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't say anything about like safe tiles are safe, so we are in trouble. <laughs> okay, so like, that's, I mean, the nearest one has to be this one. It's, it's, it would be here, so it's got to be this one is now collapsed. Oh, this is no good. All right, um, well, if we draw a dragon attack, we're dead. All players get plus one clink. That's just what I needed. <laughs> oh, God. Smash and grab. Oh, my God. No dragon this time. My stomach is upset. This is terrible. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Just remembered that I made this this whole special trip to grab some some ice cold water because it's getting so hot it's not summertime but it's like hot spring and we're getting in the you know close to, to i don't even remember now almost 90 i think way too hot okay so we do have the smoky quartz which says minus two clank and draw a card a secret tome fabulous I'm just gonna put you away um Okay, so now we have the charlatan, which does say, well, before we do that, let's just see what, what, what fate brings us here. Let's say we're going to move one space over here, because this could end the game right now. We don't have a lockpick. pick. 
we need a lock pick to get over here. Hold on, is there any way that I can get over here? That requires a lock pick to even get in here. That's a crystal cave. With with a with a this on it. Oh, this is so bad, you guys. This one's terrible. So we I think our best bet is this. How are we gonna get there's our one boot. Is there anything out here that gets me a, a thing? Oh, son of a... So the black market is five, and we have one, two, three, four. Now we have the charlatan, but the problem is to play the charlatan, we have to discard a card, which means we have to discard the burgle, which is one of our points. So we're at three points, we need five. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, 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 wait. We're in good shape now. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, so wait a minute. Now, now, we have, here's what we've got. We have two, three, four, five, six. We are using five of these points for the black market. The black market says choose two. Trash a card on your play area or discard pile or take a lock pick. I'm gonna just take $2 for one of those and take a lock pick as my second one, right? So now this is gone and we've spent all of our skill points. We're out, right? Two, three, four, five, six. So we have one skill point and we've spent one boot so far. So we have three boots left. So we're gonna go, no, yes. So here we go again, I have four boots. This is intense, okay. <laughs> so we started here, that was boot number one. Boot number two, uh, boot number one, boot number two, and then we have to use our lock pick we just got and then we take a minor secret. Two dollars. Because we haven't had enough money this game, right? <laughs> Here, one, two, three. Here's a five. Okay. Um, so then we have Lion Weight gave us a sword. And so we can use. Um, yeah, another one of our boots and the sword to move to the market. That's a third boot and our fourth boot to the crystal cave. Now we are in a safe zone. That's A. B, while we're here at the market, we are not done yet. So here in the market, we can purchase. I mean, is it even worth it? I don't know if it's, if it, well, if it doesn't matter. If I, if I do it anyway, it's a wash on points. And it, and it can heal me, so I may as well, or max, I guess. Um, it'll heal two off of, of, I don't know who has more cubes, so I'm gonna take them off of max. Um, nothing else I need, right? Because I don't need lock picks, and a backpack won't help me. So, we're done. Let's see whoa, what the survey says here. Let's see, oh my god, we were so lucky to have that that black market in the market. Next turn. I'm just going to pull it up because now we're down to the nitty gritty here. These three are gone. Oh, yeah, but see, I think we die no matter what, right? When the, when the, when the market fills up, I think we die no matter what. So just for fun, do I have two boots? I have one boot. We won't make it out anyway. <laughs> oh, there's my take a lock pick guy. Okay. So here's where we die. No dragon. No dragon, no dragon, no dragon. Maybe we got them all out of the way early. Okay, so it's still our turn. We're not, we're not dead yet. Uh, the secret tome in my hand is gonna do me no good. Did I dis did I throw away the secret tome, which I could have discarded with the charlatan because I was angry I drew it? instead of having to get rid of the burgle. I think I did. Just as a little note, don't just discard your secret tomes. That's what they're there for. Okay, so we have the curator, which says, draw a card for each artifact you have. I have two because I have the 10 and the 15. <laughs> okay, so that's that. 
Then we have take a lock pick, and if you have another companion in your play area, draw a card. So we're going to take a lock pick. Not that we I, get, I don't need to take it. We don't need it. We're going to draw another card. Trash a burgle in your area. It doesn't matter. We're out because we have three boots now. This is minus two clank and draw a card. Did we just like barely squeak out of this? Holy intense run. Yeah, I think that's it. Like we're out. We have more than enough boots to go one, two. Here's our 20 points. What we need to look at is how many swords we have. We have three swords. So with three swords, we can kill the goblin for one. We can kill the skeleton for $2 and plus one clank. $2. I'm not even going to bother putting the clink in. It doesn't matter. We're out now. Right? Then, how many points did we have to spend? One, two, three, four, five points. Is anything worth anything? This divining rod is worth two points. I may as well take it just to spend it. And we are done and out. I can't believe it. That was intense. My, my stomach is upset a little bit. That's it. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's see here. Four, five. I just want to cash this in here. So what I want to look at now... Before we're done, I just had this horrible, like, so if you ever notice I glance over a lot, it's because I'm so afraid of hitting the stop recording button, especially because I put the app button in a really bad spot. And so I keep glancing over it. And I just had this horrible thought, like, what if I stopped recording like 10 minutes ago? <laughs> um, what I want to see is this bag. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's remember these, these were in there and this, this was on top, right? So in the bag, those were, those were the start. Is there something clear I can see? Yeah, here. Can you, oh, you can't see the purple one very well, but eh. here's what was. <laughs> that's all that was in the bag. Four, five, seven cubes. Literally seven cubes. I don't know if you can see these very well. That's it. That was all that would have been going into the bag. I don't know. There, that's better. That's it. That was the bag is 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 dry, and I'm fair. I don't. Oh, I don't think I have. I can't find it quickly, but I'm pretty sure they, they wrote in this rule book. If the bag is ever empty, you all get knocked out. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to go double check that, but uh, unbelievable. Oh my god, that was intense. Like I have to I have to calm down a second here. <laughs> wow, and we didn't die! Max and I lived! Maximum dragon pulls. Unbelievable. Okay, so what happened? Let's click on escape. Oh, that's right. This is where I have to do this whole thing. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, I didn't even see that cube hanging out up there. I saw it on the screen. It's behind, a, there's a, you know, the, a wall of the, uh, the, uh, the dice trays there. Okay, so um, what artifacts did we have? We had 10 and 15, and the points calculation is going to take a minute. So let's go ahead and just take a break while I do some math, because there's a, there's a mess going on here this time again. So we'll see what we did, and we'll be right back in a moment with the final score. This is, this is awesome. Ooh, boy, that looks normal, right? That looks like our first two games. Look at all this garbage out here. Look at all this. There was a ton of points here. I really wish it did break it down for us so we could see, but we are looking pretty good this time with 156, which, you know, maybe that's better than a C. Maybe maybe that's okay, right? Maybe that's all right. Let's see what the story says. A minus, nice. All right, chapter complete, grade A minus. You resurfaced near a lake surrounding... Surrounded by the largest mansions you you'd ever seen looking around you realized Max was nowhere to be seen He truly meant he wanted things to go back to the way they were poof. Phew. That was a close one uh, Let's see here by your gaping. I'd have guessed you were a peasant from the middle of nowhere We're in the king's palace at you cut him off and told him everything you'd learned about the Viscountess and her evil undead army We have to tell everyone you finished. It seems we must, the wizard responded. To the city square, then. Let's reveal the big boss's secrets to the whole kingdom. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. All right, well, I guess we're going to hop into chapter five here pretty soon and keep this going. This is this is this has been a ton of fun. I can't believe that this is just a free thing that they wrote in here and I don't even know what they would charge to have to create a whole new narrative with all this branching stuff and like, you know, what if you get knocked out? What if you don't? I like the fail forwarding of it. I didn't realize that was a thing. I thought we would just be stuck having to replay something and that's just not a lot of fun in a lot of games. So, 
In fact, to tell you the truth, I think it's one of the claims to fame of something like Arkham Horror, the card game, right? I really do. I think that that, that makes it awesome, um, awesomer than it already is. But um, okay, that was chapter four, quite the run through our sixth chapter that we're sure of campaign now of Clank Catacombs and the adventures of the red guy and Max, what was his name? Lightfoot, I can't, Lightfinger, I can't, I can't remember again. But next video, we will have chapter five up and hopefully we will do, we will do well on that one as well. Thanks for watching everybody. Go ahead and, you know, do that whole YouTube thing, please. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Tell me uh, how I messed up horribly at some point and I could have done so much better if I had just done this and that and this and that. It's, <laughs> I miss so much and it's hard and it makes everybody better who reads all the comments you know, and knows that they have, you know, a rule was missed or something or, you know, a, a good strategy or something that could have been played way better than it was. But uh, at the time, in the moment, sometimes you don't, you don't get to think that slowly and clearly. It's, uh, you know, you just, you're going fast and uh, have to do it. So remember, games are made for everyone's recreation. We will see you next time. We. Bye.